The first email is from Sultana, and she says, if someone walks on the carpet with their shoes on, has that place become najis if I want to pray there? Now, when we would like to talk a little bit about this so that people would have sufficient knowledge, because such questions are so basic, and it is a fard. It is mandatory upon you as a believer, as a Muslim, to know these issues of purity, of tahara, of when to pray and when not to pray. This is basics, ABC of Islam. So you have to learn this and you have to be knowledgeable. There's no excuse for you not to know. So I've, I know I'm, I'm going to take a lot of time, but it is something that has to be done. The question is clear. Someone walked on my carpet with his shoes. So can I pray or is it considered to be impurity, uh, uh, impure place to pray in? Definition of impurity. Impurity is known in Arabic as najasa. And it refers to the physical impurity because we have the, the sentimental or the moral impurity, which, which is something different. We're not going to talk about that. But physical impurity is urine of uh, human beings or of animals that we cannot and we're not allowed to eat their meat the the urine the uh, uh, feces um, the menstrual blood of human beings or the menis uh, um, the blood of animals that we're not allowed to eat the meat or the blood that is running or gushing when slaughtering from a halal animal these are the things that are known as najasa, physical. If I want to pray, one of the conditions of prayer is that my body, my clothes, and the area I'm praying on does not have any najasa. The problem is that people usually mix up najasa with something that is dirty. So I could have a t-shirt that is dirty but I can still pray in it. Why? It is dirty because it has oil stains on it. I changed the car oil and I have stains on it. It's smelly because I did not take a shower and I was sweaty and I wore it a couple of times or three times so it has a bad smell. By all standards, this is dirty. Yet it is not najis. Najasa means impurity. And I could have a clean dress, a clean thobe, a clean shirt, but it has a tiny minute drop of urine that renders it to be najis. I cannot pray. And if I pray, my prayer is invalid. Combine this with the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, when he, where he said that Allah has made the earth, the ground, for me a, a means of purification, that is through tayammum, and a place to pray. So whenever a person has to pray, can pray anywhere. And with the hadith of the Prophet والسلام, when he said, pray in your sandals. And whenever one of you wants to pray in his sandals, he should look at it, meaning at the soil, to ensure that there's no impurity and then pray. This is sunnah to pray with your shoes on, with your sandals on providing that there are no najasa apparent on it. With all these previously said, if you come to the carpet in your house, someone walked on it with his boots, left traces of sand or, or, or soil or dust or whatever. Do I see any visible najasa? For certain, the answer is no, you can pray. This means I can pray in a showroom. I can pray in a classroom, I can play in the corridor, I can play in the airport, wherever I want to pray, because the ground is means of prayer for me, and I hope this answers your question.